ಶುಕ್ಲಾಂಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಸಾರಪರಮಾಧ್ಯಾಂಧಕಾರಾಪಸ್ತೆಸ್ಫಾಟಿಕಲಿಕಾಂ
uh, a vartika which is not given here but a vartika which has been used so that that vartika is very useful across across the uh, astadhyay here see padacheda itself is difficult pronunciation is difficult padacheda also uh, uh, padacheda within the samasa it is a single word this is a single word ending with su ending with su therefore it is saptami it is saptami bahuvachana but within the uh, samasa itself what are the words eti edhati utsu okay eti edhati utsu in sandhi it will become eti edhat yutsu what is eti what is edhati what is ut so we will uh, we'll not look at ut right now ut is uh, uh, a little tricky to understand we'll see when we do subanta okay so eti let me look up the dhatu meaning as well so we <coughs> i'm sorry so eti would be ingato the form of ingato and then um i think ed edha vrutho with the uh, it letter it will be edha i think ed is ya yeah, edha edha vrutho okay so this is ingato dhatu the form of ingato will be eti so ingato will become eti in latlakara so in lat lakara lat form is what lat roopam lat roopam eti uh, and then what is this? so that is eti second is what edhati edha edha vruddho Now, interestingly, see um, in the Dhatu Patha, Dhatu Patha, which uh, Panini Muni creates, there he uses the uh, first Dhatu as Bhu Satta Ya, Satta Existence. So yesterday we saw Brihi Vridho, Brihi Vridho, or uh, for Vridhi Sanya, thereby. prayer is included now in dhatu pata also prayer is included in the first dhatu bhu sattayam in the meaning of satta existence what is existent only ishwara is existing only brahman exists nothing else exists so he uses that uh, dhatu bhu sattayam to make the prayer and that is the first dhatu that is the first parasmai dhatu which is the first atmane dhatu atmane padi so parasmai padi dhatu is bhu sattayam atmane padi dhatu is edha vruddho like brahi vruddho by using the meaning of brahman as vruddhi ananta vruddhi that using that he performed a prayer when creating the sutra patha ashtadhyayi and dhatu patha atmane padi also he uses same meaning uh, the dhatu with the same meaning as his first dhatu edha so edha vruddho is covered by edhati so eti covers ingato edhati stands for edha vruddho and ut so uh, currently forget uh, i mean we we'll look at the example and see what ut is so all these put together in a samasa what would it be eti edati utsu utsu when they follow <coughs> sorry just a second <coughs> i'm sorry so when when they follow no uh, when any of these they as in when any of these follow follow what and follow what and what happens see 6189 the sutra is 
immediately after this 6188 which prescribes vriddhi echi pare ad echi pare vriddhi bhavati ekadesha puro parayo now the ekaha puro parayo achi all these have an anuvritti further into this sutra etyeda yuksu if you look at 61 Hmm. The sutra may not be that important, but we have to understand how anuvritti is take place. So look at the six one eighty nine. This sutra is what we are looking at. It has anuvritti of ek puro parayoho achi from ekoyan achi ad uh, uh, ad and achi. And vridhi also, vridhi, achi, all this continue here. Now achi is saptami. This is also saptami, although in plural. So uh, it is qualifying achi, achi. Actually, uh, there is matabeda here. Whether achi, achi qualifies achi or achi qualifies achi and achi both. So there is a mata um, bheda there. We'll take lagu since we are looking at lagu. Lagu kara says that achi ezati for that achi is in samanadi karanyam. So when achi is in samanadi karanyam, he uh, gives in the vritti. So he uses dvivachana here. These two he splits this ut. He separates out from the saptami bhavachana, and then he says achi and ezati on one side and ut on the other side. He makes a dvivachana of this eti eti in his vritti, and that is qualified by eti. What is the adesha vritti? What kind of adesha? Ekaha puro parayuhu. When, when preceded by at, when preceded by avarna. So that is the basic understanding uh, from the anuvritti. Now let's look at what lagu kara says. He says avarna because at there is an anuvritti here. So if you bring down the anuvritti, achi from ekoyanchi, ekaha purva parayoho, from ekah purva parayo adhikara sutra, then you have achi from the earlier sutra, vridhi also vridhi achi. So I'll just write vridhi hi achi vridhi achi. So this is the anuvritti here. Ekadesha vridhi hi achi pare and At at also is there. At achi is also there, but achi and achi achi. So achi achi can go together here. Achi is an H. <coughs> Now in the gato, uh, edha vrudho and ut. When these three follow, what happens? They are not. Uh, see, they are. They are H. They are H. If we did not know the earlier sutra, sutra vridhi H, then what would we do? We would use ad guna hai and make guna when avarnad ejadyo ho, etad jethyo ho, uthi cha pare vridhi ekadesh sath. If we did not know this, this sutra, if we did not know, this, let's say only sutra you know is ad guna ha in the sequence. Then what would you do? This H. H following is part of Ach. Therefore, if Ach following, the Ad guna ha bhavati. Achi pare Ad guna ha bhavati. So Avarna followed by followed by Ach. Any Ach, including this In gato. In gato dhatu E. So E or form is Ati. So Ati when Ati follows, Ati is what this Ekara is an Ach. This edha vrudho ekara, which gives the form edhati, that is also an ach. U is definitely an ach ut. So all three are here given in the sutra are ach, are a vowel. So you by default we would apply ad guna. Here, however, uh, the next sutra that we saw said, said that when h follows, which is this a a but this is not a 
then you do vriddhi. So here you would have done vriddhi. Here we would have done guna. As in when ut followed avarna, we would have done guna. And when eti edati followed, we would have done vriddhi by the by knowing vriddhi rechi, which is the sutra we saw yesterday. Then why is he saying et? Why is he saying this eti edati? He could have just said ut, uti. He could have said uti. Why are these two included? So by including these, we know that there is something which is going to come later, which will take away uh, the vruddhi adesha by vruddhi rechi. So if you look at this sutras here, sequence of sutras, there is an apuvada to this. There is an apuvada. Um, Let me look up the sutra number. So, Inga Padanta Ati. Yeah, Inga Padanta Ati would be the. Uh, just a second. So, it is a. Ingi um, Pararupam. So, wait, wait, there is another sutra there. Ingi Pararupam. So, uh, let me look at the number. Yeah, six one. Okay, there is a difference in number. So see six one ninety one. So actually it went here. In the page it went here. Uh, it is not six one ninety one in this book. See Engi Pararupam. Okay, Engi Pararupam. What is it saying? This sutra is saying when Aeng follows, Aeng Pratyara, A Om. So A Om, A and O follows, then Ekaha Purva Param is, is not the Adesha. What is the Adesha? Pararupa Adesha. There is a Pararupa Adesha. So since this Sutra is going to come up next, further ahead, and that will be an Apavada to what? Vridhyechi. Vridhirechi, then what is it saying that it will do, there will be a Pararupa Adesha. So, Engi Pararupam is an Apavada to the earlier Sutras. Not Puro Parayoho Eka Adesha uh, Vridhihi, but Engi Pura Rupa, uh, Pararupam. This is the Adesha. So, the sutra that we are looking at now, this this sutra, this this sutra is introduced and eti and edati are included so that this is an apuada not only to guna but also to this vriddhi, uh, so, so, so to the pararupa adesha. Eka puro parayoho vriddhi adesha is given by this sutra when eti or edati or ut follows. That's the idea. So I wanted to show you that uh, whenever you have a concern as to why eti or edati is included here when that uh, it could have been covered by something else earlier, then uh, we have to know that more than that is happening there. That's why there is a sutra. Something else is going on due to which this sutra includes eti and edati. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been vruddhi. That is the idea. Otherwise, there would be no ekaha puro parayo vruddhi which is prescribed in this sutra. That would not happen had there been no eti or edati in this sutra because pararupa, uh, there is a pararupa sandhi which is coming up next. So, what happens now? Avarnad ejadyoho. Ejadyoho is, uh, is vivachana. Ejadyoho uh, ejadi. Ejadi. Ejadi is what? This Eti, Edhati, Utsu. Uh, here he says, but among these, Eti and Edhati only because he is using Dvivachana. So by Dvivachana, Avarnad, Avarnad, Ejadyoho, Eti, Edhatyoho, Uthi, Chapare. So he is saying what? Edhatyoho. So, He's, he's splitting this sutra which has bahuvachana into dvivachana 
सो एजाद्यो हो एजाद्यो हो दिस फर्स्ट टू एंड ऊठी द थर्ड वन ऊठी चपरे बिकॉज दिस एती दिस एज एजाद्यो एजाद्यो इज व्हाट दिस एची दैट यू सी हियर दिस एची दैट एची ही इज डूइंग अ वचन परिणाम इट इज सप्तमी एक वचन ही इज मेकिंग इट सप्तमी द्विवचन सो ही इज सेइंग a and this h e h e saptami ekavachana he is adding a tadadi vidhi here he is bringing tadadi vidhi and converting this h as a jadi tadadi vidhi and tadanta vidhi we have seen earlier so h e adi adi hi yesham ye not yesham yayohu so if you convert into dvachana you will say एची आदि ही एच सो एच आदि ही यू से एच आदि ही ययो हो दे आर वॉट दे आर एजाद्यो हो सो इन सप्तमी दे बिकम एजाद्यो हो एंड दे विल क्वालिफाई दिस एचेज्यो हो ओके सो दिस एजाद्यो हो ही गेट्स फ्रॉम दिस अनुवृत्ति ऑफ एची and he adds a tadadi vidhi because it's a algrahana a single letter is being used h is a single letter and it is in saptami so yasmin yasmin vidhi tadado algrahane that is the vartika for uh, an exception to tadanta vidhi and thereby we get tadadi vidhi so you add h plus adi you bring in the word h so you take away the saptami here h H E becomes H. You take up the take away the Saptami Pratyaya, which is Ni in Saptami Supratyaya. You take away. Then you add Adi to that. So you'll get H plus Adi will become Aja Adi. And Aja Adi then you decline in Saptami. You will get Aja Jau. Uh, you will get Aja Dau in Saptami. One question you will get Aja Dau like Hari. Hari Shabda you will get Haro. So you'll get Aja Dau. But in Dwivacan what you'll get? हरियो हो सो एजाद्यो हो यू गेट एजाद्यो दैट इज द डिक्लेन सप्तमी द्विवचन एंड दैट क्वालिफाइज एतो हो सो दिस इज सप्तमी द्विवचन दिस इज ऑल्सो सप्तमी द्विवचन देन ऊठी इज थर्ड वन हिज टेकन अवे एंड इज ऊठी च परे एंड वेन वेन दिस फॉलो सो एजाद अवर्णा एजाद्यो हो एत्यो हो पर ऊटी च परे वृद्धि ही एकादेश सैत दिस इज दी वृत्ति फॉर दिस सूत्र वॉट आर दी एग्जाम्पल दिस वृद्धि इज अ सिंगल एक आदेश पूर्व पर सॉरी समथिंग एल्स के मैं स्प्लिटेड फर्स्ट so this is the example upaiti upaiti how do you get upaiti upa is an upasarga upa plus eti so eti is the first example which is first padam of the samasa in the sutra eti <coughs> now just before we move ahead uh, i forgot to say something so this is something which is important what is ati uh see ati what is ati ati is a latlakara form of ingatau dhatu now this is a samasa and in samasa padam uh, only sup sup subanta pada can come together samasa is between what between a noun and another noun how can ati be a noun noun ati and edhati are latlakara form so they are tinganta padam they are padam all right but they are not subanta padam they are tinganta padam how can tinganta padam be added in a samasa so here 
Eti is not really a Thinganta Padam. Although it stands for Thinganta Padam, Eti, the form also, but here it is actually a Dhatu. So Eti is indicating a Dhatu. Which Dhatu? The Indigata Dhatu. It stands, uh, it is a Subanta Padam Eti. It is a Subanta Padam which stands for the Dhatu, Shuddha Dhatu, nothing else. Just the Bhavartha, Bhavartha as in just the Dhatu meaning. It stands for the Dhatu meaning and it is a Sanya of the Dhatu. So Eti is a Subanta Padam with, which is a Sanya for the Dhatu. Which Dhatu? This Ingatav Dhatu. Similarly, Edhati, Edhati, when it is said Edhati, Edhati is a Subanta Padam which stands for Subanta Pada as in, uh, in, in within the Samasa it, it, it will decline. Finally, if you decline this Pada, it will decline. But within the Samasa, this Supratya has gone. Therefore, we cannot see that Edhati is a Subanta Pada. But it is a Subanta Pada for Edha. How do you get that? So, there is a Vartika. I'll just mention that Vartika. Uh, the Sutra under which it is there, it is a little tricky to trace right now. But since I recall it, I'll just mention this. What is this? This is uh, here I shouldn't have done. Uh, yeah, so AT. Um, there is a Vartika elsewhere. So I'll put it in brackets. It is not here. So there is a Vartika which says what? It says Ikshtipo. Ikshtipo. Dhatu. Nirdeshe. Uh, if I don't remember it right, I'll correct it later. But Ikshtipo uh, Dhatu Nirdeshe. What does this Vartika say? say? It says, so I read, wrote Ik. Ikshtipo. So Ik. Ikshtipo. Ikshtipo is what? Ikcha. Ikcha. Ikshtipcha. Ikshtipo. Is Dvivachana and Dhatu Nirdeshi is also Dvivachana. They are, they indicate the Dhatu, they stand for the Dhatu, which are these Ik and Stip. So when Ik or Stip is added to a Dhatu, then whatever form you get, that is what? That is a Dhatu Nirdesha. It stands for the Dhatu. Here in, in, in Gatav is the Dhatu. So in plus what? You have added stip. So if you add stip, in both cases here, stip is added. We will see ik when we see ik. Here it is, ik is not added. Uh, let me repeat. Um, so what will you get here? In, in plus stip. Stip is what kind of a pratya? What is the content of stip? Pakara is an it letter by Halantya myth, so it will go away. Shakara is an it letter. We have not seen that sutra, but uh, there is a sutra, Lashakvat Taddite. So Lashakvat Taddite takes away Shakara, as in Shakara is marked as an it letter, and Pakara is an it letter by Halantyam, Tashyalopaha, thereby Shakara and Pakara go. The content is only T. T is the content. However, Shakara being an it letter, there is a sutra which says, gives it a Sarvadhatukam Sanya. This stick Pratya is a Sarvadhatukam Pratya. Why? Because thing shit Sarvadhatukam. Any thing Pratya is a Sarvadhatuka Pratya. This is not a thing Pratya. That is the reason this AT is not a Thinganta Padam. To, for it to be a Thinganta Padam, this T that you see, that should be a thing Pratya. It is not a thing Pratya at all. It is not tip. Tiptas G, thing starts with Tiptas G. So tip, this is not tip, this is tip, not tip tip. It should not be confused as thing thing. It is not a tip pratya which is part of thing pratya, it is tip pratya. And tip pratya is not being a thing pratya, cannot be sarvadhatukam. However, it is a shit pratya. Shakara is it. Shakara, shakara it yasmin, sa pratya, yasmin pratya, sa pratya. Uh, shit Pratya and being Shit Pratya, think Shit Sarvadhatukam Sutra Ittyanena Sutra Ena 
ship it is a sipratia sarvadhatukam sanyabhuti. So this will become sarvadhatukam. What is the use of making it sarvadhatukam? Here, when it is sarvadhatukam, this this pratya now can cause guna here. What is the content of in? Nakara is it. Nakara being it, uh, Nakara is it by same sutra, halantya mit, whether it is in a pratya, whether it is dhatu, whether it is agama, whether it is uh, uh, any other uh, ganapatha, whatever, it is an upadesha. So, upadeshe janunasika is halantya it, thereby Nakara will go away, E is the content. E will take guna, guna for E is A, so you will get A and content of this Step pratya, uh, step pratya is T. Thereby you will get AT. So what is AT now? AT is a Pratipadikam and which will decline AT he. AT plus 2 if you put, then it will become AT he and so on. So it will decline. It is, this is what? It is a uh, Pratipadikam and here you will add um, Supratya. It is a Pratipadikam. And this is a Subantam Padam. Think. So it is Subantam Padam. Okay. So AT is Subantam Pada. And when it goes into a Samasa here, it will become uh, Padam. And thereby the Supluk. It will go, take away. It, the entire thing will become Pratipadika till here. And then. Krittadita samasascha pratipadikam thereby supluk and therefore this visarga is not seen here but this is a subantapada. Similarly for edhati. Ditto for edhati. Edhati also what is happening? So edhati same thing. Edha edha plus stip what is happening here? Edha by uh, this Akara which is Anunasika that will go away by Upadeshi Janunasika is and then this T will give you Edha T. The form will be now see uh, okay one thing I forgot here E actually uh, just a second Tinishit Sarvadhatukam here there is something else to be done which I have not done. Uh, shap will also come here. So step, uh, this this will bring in a shap also. So you will get e e is the content e plus shap will come in and then step. Why shap will come in? Because sarvadhatuke shap is a uh, kartari shap. So kartari shap pratyaya comes in whenever uh, whenever a sarvadhatuke pratyaya follows in this sense of karta kartari. So uh, shap is a it's an Utsarga Pratya. It is ordained after a dhatu whenever a Sarvadhatu ka Pratya follows in Kartari sense. So Kartari Sarvadhatu ke Shap. Here also same thing. Kartari Sarvadhatu ke Shap. So Shap will come in and then you have T. Form is what? Here of course A is there and then this A and um, you will get Still you will get this AT, this will, all, this will also cause Guna, this will also cause Guna. <coughs> anyway, so, uh, I mean Edhati, here you will get Edhati. Let me uh, fast forward, I just wanted to show you this Vartika, this is important, so I just wanted to show this uh, Vartika as important. And then when Oot follows, so what is happening, now look at the example, Upa plus AT. Upa plus AT, if we knew only Ad Guna, this Up plus Upa plus AT, you would, you would get Up A plus this A and then T. What is the Sandhi between these two? Ad Guna would have given Guna, but Vruddhir Echi, to that there is a Engi uh, Pararupa, but here what happens, this Sutra gives it a Vruddhi Adesha, Ek Adesha. This will take Vruddhya Adesha, so you will get Upa, I and T. So, so you will get Upaiti, not tip, T. So, Upaiti. What happens is Upaidhate, Upa, 
प्लस ए थे देन सी या अनदर थिंग सी यू सी द फॉर्म इज ए थे वॉट इज द फॉर्म हियर अनदर गिव ए थी सी एध स्टार्टेड बाय सींग एध वृद्ध इज एन फर्स्ट आत्मने पदी धातु आत्मने पदी धातु कैन नॉट डिक्लेन एज एध थी सो एध थी इज नॉट अ तिंगंत हियर इट इज सुबंत इन तिंगंत यू विल गेट एध थे एध थे इज द आत्मने पदे आत्मने पदम फॉर्म सो उप एध थे वॉट विल गेट उप एध थे उप एंड ए दिस इज संधि बिटवीन अ एंड ए यू गेट उपये सिप्र सो नाउ दिस दिस इज अ लिटिल ट्रिकी टू एक्सप्लेन बिकॉज ऊट इज देर लेट मी सी इफ वेर इज इट मेन्शन एज just a second give me a second uh halanta police so there is a vishwavaha shabda where it is explained so we'll skip that uh, i'll skip the explanation but here just uh, this is sufficient to say that it is prashtha prashtha plus uha प्रश्न प्लस ऊह इज देर एंड देर इज एन ऊट हियर जस्ट एज्यूम दैट देर इज एन ऊट हियर दिस हियर इज अ ऊट हाउ इट इज एन ऊट वॉट इज इट वील सी वेन वी सुबंत पद बिकॉज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टंट ऊट इज नॉट वील नॉट सी इट सो मेनी टाइम्स सो प्रश्न प्लस ऊह वॉट आर यू गेटिंग प्रश्न ऊह हियर दिस ऊ इट वुड हैव गिवन आद गुण सो वी वुड हैव गॉट प्रश्न हियर प्रश्न अ इज देर ऊ एंड देन हंधि बिटवीन दीज टू वुड हैवीन आद गुण बट वॉट डू वी गेट इन सेट वी गेट अ वृद्धि सो यू गेट प्रश्न ऊ प्रश्न ऊ वृद्धि लेटर एंड हो वी गेट प्रश्न ऊ प्रश्न ऊ here here i forgot to mention this adesha is i i is the vruddhi what is ajadyo ho why did he say ajadyo ho kim so when it is asked ajadyo ho kim this is what uh, kashi calls to us so ajadyo ho kim means what why is ajadyo ho used in the vrutti vrutti in the sense this achi this ac is qualifying ati and adhati why is that mentioned why is ac mentioned so he says ajadyo ho kim upeta so he gives an example upeta what does that mean here see example is what he says upeta what is this upeta he says upa This is upa plus ita. What is ita? Ita is also inagata dhatu. Ajati is also form, uh, not ajati. This ati, ati here in the sutra is an inagata dhatu form. So if someone gets confused that if ati has not been mentioned, then had it not been mentioned, what would one confuse as? it stands for ingato dhatu at stands for in because it is ikstapo dhatu nirdesh it is talking about only that in dhatu shuddha dhatu not the at form so if it is not at form it is ingato dhatu in dhatu then this is also in dhatu tanta nishta pratyanta ta pratyay is added so what will happen when you add upa as an upasarga to itaha which is this is in dhatu so it is ati pare so when it is ati pare that time upapurvak uh, avarnat avarnat ati pare what will happen there will be 
uh, this, this sutra will have ati desha it will have ati desha it will have a uh, ati vyapti it will apply in this case also it should not apply in this case here what should you get here you should get guna so upeta is the form here not upaitaha it should not become vriddhi here there should be no vriddhi here therefore eti is there as an anuvritti and it is used and then it is said ejadyoho taking the two padas within the samasa the first two words eti and edati into account and that's why ejadyoho has been mentioned otherwise here also you will get upaitaha which is not the form the form is upaitaha it should not apply to ingatau dhatau as in eti pare it should not apply all the cases but only when it is ejadyo eti as in eti eti it should be ejadi eti only then there should be a vriddhi adesha second example given is this ma bhavan predadi so here see me ma bhavan predadi so here the example is this yeah here i should not have done this is mula uh, okay <coughs> this is okay see what is the example pre didat what is pre didat ma is there mangi lum so ma ma is mang nakara is it you get ma so ma bhavan pre didat Prasidat is a lung lakara form, and what is this of edat? So here you see pra pra purvaka. Here it is pra purvata purvaka. Um, just let me look up the form. So prastava was an example here. Upetaha. Then, so this is also uh, okay, it's a nijanta e the dhatu. Okay, that's why that form. Okay, so here the dhatu is e. Although the dhatu is e, still it is a nijanta form. Nijanta form means it's a causative form. So in causative form you will get nich. You will get Niche. Okay, and uh, in causative, you will get the form as what? Edhat, and then you will get ididhat. So the form is ididhat. So this is the form which is what edhadatu, but nijanta, nijanta edhadatu, nijanta ed. Edadhatu. So this is the form plus what? Edadhatu plus lunglakara. Lunglakara pratya. So what will you get? Lunglakara tip. So you will get ididat. And ididat, which is preceded by pra, is what? Pra, a here, and ididat. What should be the sandhi here? First, adguna is prapta, but then this sutra says what? This sutra says eti edati, eti edati uksu vridhi hi ekadesha puro paro. But this should not be applied here. It should not be applied because it is ididat. It is not ejadi. Ididat is not ejadi. Therefore, this sutra should not be applied here and. It should go back to adguna only, and you should get what pre didat. Adguna should apply here. So adguna here. Here also adguna. Okay. Now there are vartikas. All this puts in put in the bracket is a vartika. There are four vartikas to this. Sorry, too many typos today. 
my computer has slowed down so here so what does the vartika say it says <coughs> akshad uhanya uh, it is not upi it is upasankhan so it should be upasankhyanam so akshad uhanya upasankhyanam upasankhyanam means it that should also be counted what should be counted here it should also be listed should have been listed what akshad akshad uhinya uhanyam actually u, not uhanyam that e kara is shifted here. so akshad sorry i'll repeat this akshad uhinyam upasankhyanam so there are a lot of typos here i have copy pasted from the web uh, which are themselves ocr it is ocr so ocr is not accurate it cannot be expected to be accurate so there are lot of typos akshad akshad is that aksha shabda when the aksha shabda is there akshad panchami of aksha uhinya upasankhyanam when uhini uhinya is saptami ekavachana of uhini uhini shabda so akshad what is it saying that aksha if you have aksha plus uhini shabda then that should also be li have li been listed here meaning what in that case also what should happen here aksha akaranta avarnanta and u is there then what is prapta ad guna guna is prapta but he says if you make guna you will get what will you get akshehani you will get Uh, sorry akshohani you will get akshohani a uh, and u uh, you will get okara akshohini but what is the form form is akshohani akshohani it is au oh. so vridhya desha is taking place why so he says uh, vartika kara says that in this in that case that kind of a one single word you know he says for one word here aksha followed by uhini shabda there should be a vridhi adesha So he says, "Aksh, akshau hini." You will get akshau hini, and this nakara will take natwam. It will take natwam, and you will get see aksha. This this is what kakara and shakara. There is shakara here. Murdhanya shakara is there, and whenever murdhanya shakara is there, then natwam is a possibility. Possibility. in the same pada but these are not the same padas it is what a samasa this is one pada aksha akshana see the it's a sashti tatpurusha akshana uhini it is what akshana akshana uhini this is samasa so aksha is one pada uhini is another pada how can there be natvam how can nakara become murdhanya so there is a sutra there um in the sutra by i think 8 uh, 8 4 8 4 3 8 4 this liquid okay i have a sutra part here itself so 8 not 8 4 महाभारता akshohini sena uh, so akshohini sena there is a typo here as well so akshohini sena example is sena so sena is qualified akshohini so it's a sanya that uh, which has uh, several thousands there is a quite quite a large number some 12000 or some exact number is there those many uh, elephants and it's it's a an army formation and these army formations for that particular kind of an army formation there is a word sanya given which is akshohini so akshohini when it is a sanya sanyayam 
Sanyayam agaha. Agaha is when uh, I say gakara is not there. So gakara, uh, without gakara, which does not uh, have gakara, that time, uh, and it, is, it should be a sanya. So it's a complicated rule. Gakara should not be there. Sanyayam, it, it should be a sanya uh, which is famous. It is not something that you and I cook up. It should be well well known sanya. Then purva padad also. What will happen? Rashabhyam nona samana pade. So when refa or shakara precedes uh, nakara, then that nakara will take nakara adesha. Samana pade is not needed here because here purva padat also it will happen. Even when uh, in uttara pada there can be uh, nakara which will take natvam. Anyway, just uh, just uh, to inform that this ni will become what? It will become here. So it will become akshohini. So akshohini. So there is a so eight four three. Almardi sutra. Those who want to look up purva pada sanyaya. Agaha, what? Anurutti, Rashabhyam, no, Shabhyam, no, Naha, Samana Pade, and then there is this Atkup Vang, Num Yavaya P is also there. Atkup Vang Num Yavaya P. So what is it saying? Yavaya P. So this atkupang when at see purva pada sanyayam rashabhyam nona so when refa or shakara precedes so rashabhyam after so after refa or shakara murdhanya shakara shanmuk shakara nakara nah nah is nakara se nah nakara se nah adesha bhoti but when we say there is a sandhi it should be immediately following nakara should immediately follow here. Shakara, this Kakara Shakara is there. But what do you have here? Au is there. Hakara is there. Ikara is there. So you have what? You have a ka up first. Then the sha is there. But you have au, hakara, and ikara. Then you have nakara. Then you have ikara. This is what the word is. So this nakara here is not is not immediately following shakara. There is aukara, hakara, and ikara which are sandwiching. But what does this second sutra say? Atkup vangnu vyavi. At when at pratyahara letter is sandwiching, ka ka varga. Ku is ka varga. Ka varga letter. Pu is pa varga. Pu is there and ang is there. This pang is pu and ang. So pu is power letter. Ang is ang mariyada or abhividi that ang perhaps that ang or num. Num is an agama. Vyavai. Vyavai AP is equal to what? That when they sandwich. Even when they are interleaving. These the nakara is interleaving uh, interleft by these. Is sandwiched by these letters. At pratyara. So you look what is there. Au is there. Au is part of at. Hakara is also part of at, at pratyara. Ikara is also part of at pratyara. Thereby, these are part of at and when there is a vyavaya of what? Vyavaya of at, then even then nakara will take natvam. So, which when preceded by refa or shakara. That's how you are getting natvam. I'll just put this. Here, this sutra I'll put here. So I, this is the only sutra we are going to look at today. So where do you have Anurutti mark, sir? Do you see 39 here? This 39, sir. Do you see 39? Yeah, it goes to 39. So it has a long anuvritti. This uh, samana pade goes to 2. See, samana pade goes to 2. So uh, 
we don't need samana pade here here we don't need samana pade so but this atkuba in some books this is not marked that uh, to go to 39 if you don't have it in your book in fact gopal shastri ji's book this is not marked as a, having an anurutti till 39 but it also has an anurutti till 39 so rashabhyam nurnah and atkup vangnum yavaip go all the way till 39 samana pade is only till 2 so this uh, uh, rashabhyam nurnah samana pade goes till 2 uh, and there is a vartik also ru varnan asirnatvam vachyam so anyway so this is a detour but these are all important this is all important uh more important than what we are looking at in the examples there are only one one words one word which will you will get by one vartika i'll finish the rest of the vartikas also these other words which are listed for those also there is a vartika which says what praduho dodye sheshesu so i'll not repeat not repeat that quite a tongue twister So prauha, prauda, praudhi, praisha, and praisha. I'll just explain what these. I mean, I'll just mark these. What these are? Pra purva ka. Pra purva ka what? Uha. So you have pra purva ka. Uha. I think it is uh, prad. So prad. I'll split this. What is it saying? Prad. It says prat uha udha udhi udhi. What else is there? Udhi esha udhi esha and uh, Asia and Asia. Yeah, there's a yeah Asia, yeah Asia. So Asia and Asia, Asia, Asia issue. So I can't split this Asia and Asia. So I'll say Asia. Asia is the word Asia issue. So these are the words. When pra precedes what uha, udha, udhi, Asia or Asia, then also there is a vritti. Otherwise you would have got guna. Here he says, uh, so I'll not mark this. This is clear, and these are the examples. So prat, prat is panchami ek vachana. All these are saptami ek vachana, uh, saptami bahu vachana. So when these follow, these follow prakara pra, then you will get vritti. Third vartika says what? Ritecha tritya samase. सर ऋते चीतिया समासे एग्जांपल ही गिव्स सुखेन सुखेन ऋतः सुकार्थः यू विल गेट व्हाट सुखेन सुखेन ऋतः सुखेन ऋतः दिस इज तृतीया तत्पुरुषः व्हाट वुड वी एक्सेप्ट एक्सपेक्ट हियर टू आई मीन सुख प्लस तृतीया तृतीया इज टा टा प्रत्यय देन ऋतः Plus soon, this is how the samasa aloki ka vigraha. Then what is happening here? Supluk, thereby you will get sukha plus ruta. Now this ru is ach. Over and over, achi pare what will happen? Guna, guna adesha. So you should get what? Sukhar, sukhar taha. A and then uran drapara would apply. You will get sukhar, sukha. A is the a plus ru will become. is a there is a guna ad guna ha ek ha puro parayor ek ha adesha but what are you getting here a a you are getting urandra para will give you refa but after a guna letter by ad guna however you are getting vriddhi letter a so here sukha suk plus a you will get the suk a and ru is there then ta is there sandhi between these two is is sukha sukha a is suk suk a a is the replacement and then uran rapara will give you refa 
Urand refers and then the so Urand Raparaha. That sutra is applying and you will get Sukhartha. Sukhartha. This is a Pratiparika and then you do Sukhartha plus Su. So plus Su. You get Sukhartha. Sakara will become Visarga. Tritya Kim. Now he is saying why Tritya has been said here. Tritya Samase. Only in a Tritya connection. Tatpur, tritya Tatpurusha only. Otherwise what so Tritya Kim is a counter example. When it is not a Tritya then it will not be a Vridhi Adesha. But what will it be? It will be a it will be a whatever has to happen will happen. And what is what will happen here Param. So uh, Paramarthaha. So Paramarthaha is not Tritya. Uh, what kind of Samasa would it be? Paramarthaha. It would be hmm, uh, what could it be? Just a second. Let me think. Let me look up. There's something mentioned. Tritya Samase hmm. It would be Yeah, I think it would be Karmadharya Yeah, Karmadharya only, right here So, it will be Karmadharya Yeah, Kalyanji So, it will be Paramahcha I was thinking Karmadharya, but I wanted to cross check that. So, Paramasya Rutascha. What will you get? Paramasya Rutascha. Parama Rutaha. And Parama Rutaha is what? There is a Guna here. So, Parama plus Rutaha, that will be the Sandhi here, and you will get Parama Param O. Then Urandra Para will give you Repa and the by what? Ad Gunaha. Ad Gunaha and Urandra Paraha. So here in because it is not a Tritya, since it is not a Tritya, there is a counter example, you will get Paramartha. Last Vartika says what? Pra Vatsara Kambala Vasana Runa Runa Dasha So Runa Dasha Runa Dasha Nam Rune So Rune Right uh, Vasana Well not Vasana Runa So Vasana Arna So it's Vasana Arna It's a single word Runa is here Rune So Dashanam Runi. Dashanam Runi. So, when Pra, Pra, Vatsara, so Pra, Vatsara, Kambala, Vasanarana, Dashanam Runi. When Runa follows, Runa follows what? Follows all of these. So, when it follows the Pra, Vatsara, then all of these what? They will take. They will take Vridhi Adesha. So examples are what? Examples given are these Praranam. So Pra plus Runa will, you will get Prarana. You will not get Prarana, you will get Prarana. So example is Pra plus Runa. What will you get? By the rule that we know, we would get Guna. So Guna will be Pra. pra. So uh, here you will get Pra plus Runa, you will get Prarana. But Ekadesha will be Prarana. But here you will get Prarana. Because Vridhi is happening. Then Vatsara Arana. What are, what are the meanings of these? So here Runa is, Runa, Runa has multiple meanings. In this case it will be Prarana. Prarana will be uh, there is a uh, lot of runa, lot of debt, lot of debt or there is 
So one meaning we'll see. There is lot of red. So pranam is there is lot of lot of debt. Vatsara is what somebody takes earlier in the village sides and uh, in the earlier culturally cattle is considered as wealth. So uh, runa taken for for the cattle. Then kambala. Kambala is the, uh, the blanket. So for blankets also people would take uh, debt poor people. So uh, that that kind of runa. Vasanarana. Vasanarana is what? Vasanarana is Vastram. So Vastaruna is Vasanaranam. Then uh, actually I think Vasanarana, the word itself is listed here. It is listed here as uh, Vasanarana. All these words, uh, this Vasanarana is actually Vasan plus ar, ar, Runa. So Vasan plus Runa is Vasanarana. The Samasa itself has been mentioned here. And then Dasha, Dasha if you, is, if you see Dasha, so Dasharam, Dasha plus, so uh, I think actually, wait, this is Vasana plus Runa, so it was right what I had mentioned, Runa Shabda is also there, so if it is, uh, you know this uh, credit card culture, I am sorry I am taking uh, more time, I will take two more minutes, so Runa, Runa Shabda, when Runa precedes Runa, when Runa precedes Runa, Vasana is, Vasana is Vastra, so was, runa for vastra, you take a loan to buy clothes, you know, uh, festivity, so credit card culture, plastic uh, economy. So you borrow money, you don't have money, you borrow money. Whether it is for, uh, earlier people would bo borrow money for needs, for cattle, for uh, blankets, but here for vastra, you know, for festivity, so you uh, uh, borrow money. So that runa, vasan, vasana runa, there you will get vriddhi. You take runa for runa, so you borrow from one bank and pay the other bank. You take uh, loan from one credit card and pay the other card, credit card bill. So that is runa for runa. To pay the debt, you take uh, debt so that there also you will get vriddhi. So runa runa. So you will get runa runam and dasha. When it's dasha plus runa. So dasha, dasha plus, plus runa, there runa shabda does not mean, when dasha plus runa is added, that time runa does not mean debt. There it means river. So runa has a meaning of river also. River or lake. It has a meaning of lake also. So there dasha plus runa, it is um, it is a bahuri samasa. So uh, dasha uh, runani yasmin. So yasmin grame or yasmin deshe saha dasha runaha. So that will become dasha runa. Dasha plus runa will become dasha runa. You will get vriddhi. And that is mentioned here as prāraṇam, vatsarāraṇam, ityādi. So you just have to make vṛddhi by adding these words. So prāraṇa, vatsarāraṇa, kambalāraṇa, vasanāraṇa, rināraṇa and dasharana. These are the words that you will get. So we will stop here. I did only one sutra which I said don't look into it much. But I spent all the time in that. The reason is... I wanted to cover other things, other things here based on this Ikstipo Dhatu Nirdeshe, that is important to know. All of these are, the words are not, themselves are not so important. What you need to know is that uh, there may be some other rule which is not very often used and that rule is coming into play. If you see some place you don't see Guna, you see Vridhi and uh, you may just assume that it is this uh, some Sutra like Vridhi Echi. But in this case, when oot follows, etc., we may not know which sutra is applying, which is okay. But understand that there is some sutra which we may not recall, but that is there. And otherwise, the vartika is coming into play and it is causing vruddhi. Okay, I'll stop here. Vittavasane nataraja rajo nana dadakkanna panchavaram Uddhar tukamasanaka di siddha neta dvimarshe shiva sutra janam Any questions?